Hello guys, today we're gonna make a scene. If you have seen my previous tutorial, it's gonna be a little bit more easy. If you haven't, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna make a scene with two buttons. But, those buttons are depending on the variables. And, one variable is available in Tasker. The other variable is not available in Tasker. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult. I hope you like it, it's not gonna be easy. So let's do it. So we want to make a scene with two buttons. The first button will be the button Bluetooth on and off with the inside variable and the other button will be automatic brightness on and off. But in Tasker, there is no variable available for automatic brightness. So we have to create it by itself. Let's jump inside Tasker and we make a new scene. So we go to scenes plus my toggles, for example, is the name of my scene. And I gonna resize it. and turn that file okay that's my scene let's go back so my name of my scene is my toggles remember that we need that later on so let's open my toggles and let's create a new scene the first thing I want to do is make a rectangle so let's do that the plus then we choose a rectangle and then we leave that name rectangle one shader is none but the color will be black black and we slide the slider to the right no opacity of transparency so let's click ok and no border for now and no corner radius this is a simple widget so let's go back and we have our uh, rectangle let's resize that a little bit something like that and something like that for example okay let's add a text so we click the plus button then we click on text slide down text and then we give it a name, the text would be my toggles. Go back. And the text is full white. You see that here. And the rest seems okay for me. Maybe the font a little bit lower. Uh, 14 as font size. Okay, let's go back. And my toggles is there. And let's move that up. Um, let's move that something like that okay that's my toggles my title now we gonna add gonna resize it a little bit first something like that and we're gonna add also an exit button so we can exit or destroy the scene later on so let's do that first plus image uh, where are you here image and then we choose our image gonna choose an icon from here and we choose for example this one okay let's go back and let's resize the, oh, I'm sorry let's resize that resize that and we gonna resize it something like that and something like something like that so that's my uh, exit button look fine for me and let's go back so we have our scene we have our title and our exit button the first thing we need to do is destroy the scene and let's 
click on the exit button the exit button and we say depth plus and then I'm gonna use my mouse uh, scene and we destroy scene and we destroy this scene that's okay for me let's go back that's okay and let's go back so when we open that scene we can destroy it easily so this is the first thing so let's do the second thing and the things that now coming up are way more difficult than what I've done yet let's create another toggle uh, two toggles let's add some action to that so first let's add a button uh, an icon for the Bluetooth so plus gonna use an image and I gonna choose an image and the image would be the Bluetooth and I gonna set the Bluetooth I have two buttons of the Bluetooth and I have here the off button the off button is in gray and with a gray line so the next thing we have to do is change the name because it's very important for us so we can change that icon so it should be a name like for example uh, easy to remember I gotta name it icon icon underscore and I'm gonna name it BT from Bluetooth okay so we know this icon has a name icon BT we will use that name later on so let's go back and let's resize it resize and let's click on that and we make a nice button and we move that a little bit move and a little bit to the side okay that's our bluetooth gonna make it a little bit bigger sorry uh, resize it and gonna make it a little bit bigger so you can see everything right now the second icon would be auto brightness so let's do the same plus uh, plus and then we use an image and let's open an image my local media quick pick auto brightness auto brightness is here okay so that's the off button of the auto brightness so let's name that icon and underscore eb okay eb for auto brightness let's go back and let's resize that also resize this one oh sorry and the same height and now we make a nice one and let's move that to the side so let's go back so we have two toggles bluetooth and auto brightness those icons are now off so what do i want when i trigger that task those icons should change depending on the state of your phone if my brightness is auto brightness is on it should be blue and with a blue bar if my brightness is off it should be this one so we have to trigger some test before loading our scene that will check our uh, states of your phone so i hope you understand that it's not easy to get that but i hope uh, you will understand what i'm trying to say okay i said before bluetooth has an inside variable inside the tasker auto brightness doesn't have one so um the first thing we have to do is if we push the button bluetooth then it should toggle my bluetooth so let's do that first uh, click on that and then we click on tap 
and on tap we click a new action I'm going really fast I know that but otherwise if I'm doing everything very slowly it should be a long long tutorial so let's toggle the Bluetooth on and off so we go to the net and we choose Bluetooth and we choose not off but we choose toggle okay let's go back so what does it do uh, when I click on my Bluetooth button it will toggle the state of my Bluetooth that's what it does for the auto brightness it's gonna be a little more difficult so let's do the first thing let's click on that and let's click on the tab the first thing is auto brightness doesn't have any variable so let's create first a variable and we're going to name that variable toggle eb so if if uh, toggle toggle eb is on or one we're gonna do something and we use also an else so if you use an if statement you also have to use an else statement and then after everything you should uh, end with an and if statement so let's create a task inside the if statements so if auto brightness is on or toggle eb is on what we are gonna do is set uh, var and we set the var the same toggle toggle eb to zero then we're gonna use an element image and we use here the on and uh, the off button sorry off button and then we gonna use auto brightness to off else we gonna set where toggle eb toggle eb eb to one element image we gonna use the on on button and we gonna use auto brightness to on so what does it do I'm gonna explain everything I hope you will understand it so if my toggle my variable toggle auto brightness is on then we gonna set the variable off when we click that and the auto brightness is on this will be on we gonna click that we gonna set the variable to off we gonna load the image the off button and we gonna set auto brightness off if my auto brightness is off toggle ab is zero what we're gonna do we're gonna set the variable to one and we're gonna load an image on button and we set the brightness to on because this actions we're gonna do is to make a toggle button so if it's off we're gonna set it on and if it's on we're gonna set it off I hope you understand that that's not easy to understand you have to think about this one so let's try to do that on our phone so I'm gonna do that very fast you see the code here so I'm gonna start uh, with uh, this and going further on so let's do that so let's click the plus button plus and then we use uh, if first of all task if we're gonna set a new variable 
toggle toggle is uh, toggle EB EB and S uh, to one go back go back plus you're gonna set a variable variable is variables uh, set variables is here and we're gonna set variable uh, toggle underscore uh, eb two zero okay let's go back and then we set the auto brightness on plus we're gonna use uh, display and auto brightness and we're gonna set that on okay let's go back and then we use this we have I'm sorry uh, should be off sorry should be off let's go back so we have done this one I forgot something else we're gonna use the element image and we're gonna use the off button of the auto brightness so let's click the plus button and let's uh, click on where are you seen uh, element image here and we're gonna use an element from my uh, local from my local media local media and we're gonna use quick pick and where are you sites here auto brightness is off okay that's the off button and my element would be remember what I said before remember the names so we're gonna use icon icon I'm sorry underscore uh, AB okay also you can use the magnify glass so when you click that you see here icon AB so that's one we need we click on that okay so let's go back and let's move that up so you see here a triangle because we haven't saved it yet when we go out of this task uh, it will automatically save let's move this up before auto brightness so you see here a vertical line when you want to move something just click here and move that uh, inside that and it will sorry I moved it to up something like that okay so let's add an else statement this one the else plus and we use task else okay let's go back then we have to set a variable plus variable variable sets and we use uh, toggle uh, underscore uh, ab was it ab to toggle to one okay let's go back and then you see also it's in green uh, this is an if statement this is an else statement would be also in green always so let's click the plus button and we use also element image so uh, this is just repetition so let's go to scene element image and we are gonna use which element icon a B and we set this if we want to put that on we have to set that on so let's choose the on image local media quick pick and we use here the on icon and let's go back 
You see also here the triangle. I told you before why it's there. So let's click the next button plus and we uh, choose a, uh, display auto brightness and we set this on. Okay, and we go back and close our statement with an and if. So plus task and if. Okay, and let's go back. You see also here a triangle, it's the same reason I told you before. So when I go back and let's open my toggle again, you don't see that triangle anymore. So everything went fine. So for now we have created an action when we click on that. When we click on that, it's gonna trigger all those actions and also the exit button will be destroy your scene so so let's create first a task uh, to trigger the scene and also checking the states before we load our state uh, our scene so let's do that let's go back and let's go to task here yeah. and we create two tasks plus we gonna name it open uh, Toggles, save, and for opening we use only one action, and we're gonna use scene, and we're gonna use uh, show scene, and we're gonna say it overlay, overlay, we don't want to use an exit button so we have one and um, gonna name that the scene would be um, gonna choose my toggles okay go back and uh, I'm gonna say uh, overlay blocking and full window so let's do that okay so everything is now fine to trigger my scene. The first thing we need to do is make some tasks that check the states before it's loaded. You can do that in the same task or you can make another task. I'm making another task uh, that's easier to control everything and that's just my uh, triggering scene. So let's create another task and we're gonna Name that task check uh, check my uh, state check my state okay check my state is just a state of auto brightness and Bluetooth so let's create a state plus we're gonna use scene uh, element image and we say my toggles element would be a b and the image would be um, the off button gonna use the local media quick pick and we go down and we choose the off button of auto brightness and we use this one if toggle ib is to zero if toggle IB is zero I'm gonna use this image as for the element icon EB in my scene my toggles okay let's go back we copy that long press and we're gonna copy that and long press we're gonna paste it and we're gonna use the same action and we're gonna just uh, edit that if my toggle AB is 1 we're gonna use another icon and where is my icon local media quick pick and let's do uh, the auto brightness is on go back so we have something for the element image 
I hope you know what I'm trying to do. So I have now two tasks, open toggles and check my states. So um, when I open my toggles, it's gonna show my scene. And um, when I trigger check my states, it would be uh, check the icons, uh, which icon it should be loaded. So this one should be also inside this one. So let's open toggles and let's do plus perform where are you uh, task perform task here and let's use uh, so let's uh, check my state okay and let's move that up so what does it do First, it will check my state and then opening my scenes and my uh, images in my inside my scene would be checked and eventually it will change uh, if the state is that. When I click on that buttons, it would be also changed as well. So this one is checking your state before opening your scene. Let's try that. Okay, task doesn't exist. Check my states. How comes? Gonna go completely out tasker. Back to my home screen and open tasker again. Open toggles and let's play the play button again. And now it should load this one. So my auto brightness is off. You can see that here is my auto brightness that's off. So, when I click on this one, you will see the icon would change. And I'm going to open my uh, notification bar. And you will see my auto brightness is on. So, let's click the exit button here to destroy your scene. Okay, let's go back. Let's add something for our Bluetooth. Let's go back to the scene and scenes, my toggles and Bluetooth is on and Bluetooth is off. That seems fine. And when I tap that, it will change uh, the Bluetooth settings, but your image won't change yet. So we have to perform some tests. So I'm going back and I'm going to my task and I'm gonna use check my state and we're gonna use the same action but for Bluetooth I'm gonna copy those all copy and I'm gonna paste it okay so the third one would be changing the icon from icon BT okay and we use here the inside variable of tasker. So let's delete it. And we use the inside uh, variable is blue and is on. And we use the icon Bluetooth on, would be that image. Okay. And here we're gonna say Bluetooth is off. Um, blue is off. Okay, and we're gonna use the image Bluetooth off. Bluetooth off is this one. Okay, that's the icon for Bluetooth off. So if Bluetooth is on, we're gonna use the blue icon. If Bluetooth is off, we're gonna use uh, the gray icon. That's quite easy. Yes, I hope you will understand that. So this task, check my state, would be loaded when we open toggles and check all the states before um, before opening the scene, and it knows which icon it should present the blue or the gray one. So we have to do only one thing. We are gonna go back to our uh, scene 
and we open my toggles and we gonna click on Bluetooth settings and when we tap on that I'm gonna toggle our Bluetooth plus it should also change my icons and the icons are defined in check my state so we are gonna use plus perform task 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 uh, perform task and we are gonna use uh, check my states again okay let's go back and it's finished everything should be working as well so let's try it let's go back and task and we use only open toggles and let's use the play button play okay auto brightness is on yeah that's fine okay um, when I push that auto brightness is off auto brightness is indeed off okay uh, let's try the Bluetooth button let's click on the BT and the icon doesn't change so we have done something wrong so our Bluetooth is on so I'm clicking back and the icon doesn't change hmm let's go back first of all let's create an, uh, a toggle a shortcut on our home screen uh, that should be working better uh, first of all let's go to tasker and let's go to open toggles add an icon to that for our home screen I'm gonna use a built-in icon and I'm gonna use for example um, that cookie okay that's nice um, I'm hungry hmm uh, let's go back okay and um, let's go to our home screen and long press I'm using apex and I'm gonna use a shortcut and the shortcut would be at the bottom task shortcut and we are gonna use open toggles okay that's fine go back and we see our icon here on our home screen and let's try that again bluetooth let's try oh I see I didn't change the name okay I see what I did wrong okay let's do that close that and let's open uh, tasker you will see what was happening and check my states and check my states the first one is uh, if bluetooth is off the icon is indeed icon bt if blue blue is on and um, the second that's not good uh, here is icon AB that sh should be also icon BT so let's check the those again icon BT is correct so let's do that again let's go back to our home screen and let's try that again so let's click our icon here auto brightness should work we have tested uh, that already but Bluetooth give us some problems so let's click on that and let's click we see Bluetooth is on and on our uh, notification bar Bluetooth is off so when I click on Bluetooth again Bluetooth should be off and also in my notification bar Bluetooth is off and let's destroy the scene by using the exit button here close the exit button here okay so it works so I had a little problem when I created my uh, scene this is a very long tutorial I'm sorry for that um, I hope you liked it I hope you learned something about that um, the variables how to use a toggle button 
uh, with also the element image for changing your buttons as well. It's not very easy at all. Uh, you should understand everything. I hope you like this one. I have tried to do my best to do it very very fast but you see it takes a long time to explain everything. When I'm doing it by myself it go way faster. If you have any comments, if you like this one, just click plus one this post on my Google page. And I will see you later and have a nice day.